Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. Tonight, another beer review from a brewery that's brand new to us. They are out of Ashburn, Virginia. This is the Old Ox Brewery. This is our Alpha Ox Hoppy Pale Ale, bright and citrusy. Um, only have one can on this. Um, kind of a cool can. I, I saw the, the hops kind of floating on my shelf. Um, the big X, the, the Ox. If you look at their website, this Ox theme kind of uh, is very dominant. Um, this bad boy right here is 4.5% ABVs, 31 IBUs. So what's interesting about this one, like I'm very interested to get into it because it's got Amarillo, Centennial, Columbus, and Simcoe hops, but it also has Abbey, Car Carmunic, I believe is how you pronounce it, flaked oats and pale malts, which is a lot of malt for a hoppy pale ale. Um, it's got Chico 1056 yeast, which I've never heard of. So this is their Session uh, version IPA. Surprisingly, it has a nice mouthfeel, amazing hop aroma, and a smooth finish, light malty sweetness. Gives a juicy citrus and pine nose. Um, Amarillo, Centennial, and Coe hops dominate this beer, but there is enough malt body to maintain the balance, which I could understand with four of them in there. All of this hoppy goodness is delivered in a very reasonable 4.5% ABV package. So, there you have it. Um, no date on the bottom that I could find or anywhere on the can. But again, for a hoppy pale ale, that's a whole lot of malt. So, let's see what this thing looks like. I'm anticipating a little bit of a coppery, darker color which is exactly what is coming out of this can. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of an orange color to it. I realize the lighting's not great. With all those malts in there, it's what I predicted in my head at least, and I'll verbalize. It's a little bit cloudy, and there's not a lot of stuff floating around, which is great, I'm not a fan of that, but this is a very malty pale ale. The head is fairly thick. I realize I poured it a little bit aggressively, but it's perfectly white. So surprising with all those malts in there and hops, um, it, this is not a very dark uh, head on it. Now remember, they're labeling this as a Session IPA because ABVs are 4.5%. So with that being said, this could really kind of push the limit for a Session IPA, or not IPA, Pale Ale, excuse me, uh, to broaden the Session market. It might be what they're going after with pounding in all those malts. So. See what we got going on here. So definitely the uh, Centennial, the Columbus hops are in here. It's a little bit more of what I call that harsh hop flavor, very piney. Um, the malts are coming out as bready, but it's not caramely at all. There's zero fruit in here, which there shouldn't be because the malts would overpower it with as much as they put in here. Um, it's kind of a boring aroma, but I mean, you can, the hops smell fresh, the malts are in the background. Again, there's not a lot other than this kind of uh, uh, sweetness of bread. And that's about it. I mean, it's it's very hot forward. It should be. It's a pale ale. Granted, the IBUs are only 31. It smells like 45, 50. So it's got, I mean, it's a decent aroma, but uh, like, quite frankly, it's boring. But again, with what we have going on here with the pounding of the hops, of the volume combined with all those malts, it would be very hard to uh, to make a session IPA have anything else other than this kind of uh, mediocre balance between the two. So, cheers. Let's get in the glass. See what we got, guys. It's what I expected. Um, hops hit you at the front. Um, they're, they're, they're fresh. They're... they're Little, little, er, you know, piney. Um, definitely have a little bit of that earthiness to it, that that grassy notes to it, and then it just, the subtly just destroys your palate at the end with malts. Um, it's it's bready. It's there's a little bit of that caramel coming out in the in the flavor. Oh, man, this is a. It's hard to describe. It's um, it's got a very um, uh, malt backbone that is quite frankly, dissipates quickly and doesn't have a lot of substance to it. Now, again, I 
I feel like I'm picking on the beer or not. At 4.5% and 31 IBUs, you can't expect much. But again, it's just got this malt backbone to it that's very similar to a lot of the uh, like the rye IPAs, the, the red IPAs. Um, but again, it's still a pale ale, so it's, it's trying to perform at a higher level um, than what it is designed to be. So, I mean, it's, I don't know, I'm struggling with this one. I mean, it's just okay. It's, I mean, for a session IPA and you like multi IPAs and, or pale ales, um, I would pick it up. Um, for me, it's not really something I would buy again because if I'm going to drink 4.5%, I don't want something that has this much of a malt backbone to it. I would rather have it a much higher hoppy backbone to it. It's got hop, nice hop flavor in the front, but it just gets just, just, just annihilated in the middle and the back of your palate because of this bready, caramel, um, kind of overpowering uh, malt flavor that just takes over. So if you like that, I highly recommend this beer. We rate our beer between one and five. I'd give this about a two and a half. It's not bad at all. I could see some people really enjoying this. It's just not something that I would lean towards again because it's just extremely malty for a pale ale. Um, and again, if you like nut browns, if you like, uh, I can't remember, if you like things like Yingling, for example, here I'll give you a little hint and then I'll sign off. Things like Yingling, uh, beers like Yingling, it, it's got that kind of color to it and that theme to it and people have been drinking it for 150 years or whatever. If you want to break out of that and try something different in the Session IPA market, I highly recommend this. And they're both brewed on the East Coast. You can find both of them. Um, so again, it's not a bad beer. It's just a very different malt slash hoppy combination that I think, um, unless you're really into that malt backbone, you're not going to enjoy. But still a very tasty beer for what it is. So, ooh, that was a long beer review. Sorry. Um, Alpha Ox, if you've tried it, they're hoppy pale ale. Please leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website, microbeerreviews.com. We upload all the time. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.